All right, so this morning we continue our Oscar coverage and check it out. I am back out here at our glammed up Nomad Land set. They did very well last night at the Oscars. And we've talked about a lot of moments this morning the awkward moments, the big winners, the funny moments. Now let's talk about the um, not so great moments, maybe a little odd or uncomfortable. Cleo Green back with us from the WFA newsroom to give us the scoop she was watching last night. So if you weren't, she'll get you caught up. Yeah, Kara, like you said, I think there were a lot of odd moments. Um, we don't even have enough time to go through them all. So I picked maybe the top three trending moments on social media right now. Uh, number one here, Variety tweeting, someone give Viola Davis an Oscar uh, for this performance, pretending to take a shot. Yeah, there were a lot of people on the red carpet that were that were taking shots. I don't know the reason why they were doing interviews and doing this, but maybe it was because they had a tough year. Maybe it was because there's no parties after the show this year because of the pandemic. And then another one here, people on social media were saying that the interviews on the red carpet were a little bit too socially distanced, more than six feet. But hey, better safe than sorry. But I think this is the top trending moment. Glenn Close, yeah, doing a little shake there, dancing to doing the, you know that song. Um, but Close, she also made history last night, not for a good reason, by losing eight times without ever winning. She lost in the Best Supporting Actress so, category so, so, so to Minari star Yoo Jung Young. And there were several deviations last night, Best Original Song nominees. They actually performed at a pre-show and not during the actual telecast. And that was weird for a lot of people on Twitter. Now, political issues such as gun violence, they played a huge role in the ceremony. Regina King, she opened up talking about the pandemic and the guilty verdict in the Derek Chauvin trial. And Tyler Perry here winning the Humanitarian Award. He made a very passionate plea urging viewers to join him to refuse hate when it came to other people. Now, another big top talker here, Anthony Hopkins winning um, actor in a leading role for The Father. A lot of people thought that this was going to go to Chadwick Boseman in his role in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, but it didn't. And a lot of people were disappointed by that. Our Chris Lawrence got some sound, some interviews from people last night. For to end with Anthony Hopkins in a performance that was great, but nobody saw, nobody talked about. If Riz Ahmed isn't winning this, if Chad Bozeman isn't winning this, then what are we doing here? All right, now Hopkins, he didn't show up to the ceremony last night, but it looks like someone woke him up this morning because he did a tweet and acceptance speech, really paying homage to uh, Chadwick Boseman as well. But like I said, a lot of people were a little shocked by this, a little uh, disappointed. The last time Hopkins won an Oscar was for Silence of the Lambs, Greg. Do you remember that movie? Yeah. 